well, first we'll, I guess we'll do the chest. I have no idea what's going to be in here. Maybe a special coin? I don't know. Going in blind on all of these, pretty much, except for... I know that one Shaman is in here, and I know... Uh, obviously the rappers. I know... I already got the mega full art from this one. For the most part, I'm going in blind. Chest number one, or the only chest really. Twenty. And An ex. Toxicroak ex. Ooh, he's a poisoning one. One of my favorites is poison. Your opponent's active Pokemon is not poison. Puts nice. I mean, I don't like to use ex cards, but if I used one, that might be this one. For an EX, I'm glad. Oh, I'm sure there'll be zigzagoons somewhere. Uh, okay, let's do a few ancient origins now. Pack number one of the opening. Ooh, that's a cool thing. Provides electric energy. Has no weakness. Alright, that's pretty cool. I like the art on this card. It's like praying. I like that art. Oh, that's good. I'll go go good with that uh, card I got. too much. Hey, anti. Uh, eh, it's not bad for... Let me go fix the audio quick. Master volume. Okay, back to packs. First one was a pretty good one. I like that one. Nothing too fancy, but hey, got that full art or half art or whatever it is. Uh, ooh, that's not bad. Probably wouldn't use it actually now I think about it, but ooh, I got the reverse hollow of that uh, Corellia that I like. Even though you can't really tell. Little slug dragon snail. And. Ooh! A half art. Hollow. Friend all effects. There is a Porygon Z? I didn't even realize that there was another evolution beyond Porygon 2. I'm so noob at Pokemon. Uh. Prevent all effects of your opponent's Pokemon. Billy Zone's Pokemon, nice. Devolve as many of your bench Pokemon as. Well, I guess that'd be a good way to heal. And. At what? 50 damage and guaranteed confusion for two energies? That's not too bad. I kind of like that card. I like the hollow effect with the rainbow and. Alright, I'm happy with these two packs so far, and still plenty to go. <clears throat> and Ampharos! Is there an Ampharos EX in this deck? Because I always liked Ampharos. <laughs> I, like this, I like this artwork, he's playing in the sand. Hey, Gyarados. I've seen this card used a lot in a theme deck I face. Oh, like, other than the um, Glade theme deck, this Gyarados theme deck is the one I kind 
encounter a lot. He's a pesky Gyarados, so I'll take that. And another one of the already oh, ooh, Flareon. I always like to get Eevee evolutions. I like to have Eevee decks. Hmm, additional fire for stage one. Wow, that's kind of cool, actually, because that worked really good for the Flareon, or EV deck. This attack is nothing to write home about, but also the artwork is pretty cool. Alright, I like that one. And more spiders for Nancy. Uh, poison. What's his? Sableye always has interesting abilities. Ooh, I like that Bewitching Eyes ability. That's kind of a cool card. I like cool effects, attack effects. Hey, Anaclado, what do you got? Wait, devolve each of your opponent's evolved Pokemon and put the highest stage. Wow, okay. That seems kind of overpowered. Every one of your opponents evolved Pokemon? Huh. Wow. This card seems pretty useful. Kind of almost cheap. I mean, it could evolve in the next turn, but. Huh. Well, if you already have more damn. Never mind. I'm just trying to already think of ways to use that, but I should be opening more packs. I guess it's not as overpowered as I first thought it was now that I think about it, but still. Uh, Eevee, but. Nothing special for an Eevee. More spiders for Nancy. Look at this, Nancy. This spider has a frowny face on its body because it knows you hate it so much. Reggie Rock. I think I have him already. Yeah, there's no new. Nothing special. Oh, another one of those things, but. I really only need one. I never give you a hard time, Nancy. Hey, look, another spider that you hate. Hey, Porygon, too. Go lurk. Like, this one is a common? Oh, yeah, he has an all evolution, but it doesn't. Ooh, hey, there we go. There's the Ampharos. The top four cards your deck attaches. Okay, fine, so that's Pokemon. Wait. Hmm. It's not great, but not bad. I mean, it's not, it doesn't seem like an overpowered EX. I mean, it still has 170 HP, but. Yeah, I like Oddish. I like his little feet. They're all crossed. <coughs> Excuse me. More Gumi. Whenever you attach a water energy from your hand as a Pokemon, you search your deck for a Gumi and put. Ooh, I could have some uses. Phew. I like Gumi. Another Flareon. Another Spider. Oh, there. It is the final stage. Okay. Hey, Verizian. I like his, uh, I have his full art of his non-EX I use in one in my uh, Maroctus deck, where you can draw two cards. Bailout, if you have... Wow, okay. That's pretty good. I'll take that. Hey, Larvesta! And what is this thing? Forest of Giant Plants. Ooh. 
that might work good. My rock, my rock this with my superior rare candy combination. Yeah. Ooh, what is this? Oh, it's that. Uh, that's pretty cool. Is he's about to eat a fisherman that looks like Ash when he's an adult? That's pretty cool. And he can have up to two tool cards attached to him. All right, that's pretty cool. I'll take that. Free damage counter on your benched magic card. I mean, his attacks aren't super great. But I like the artwork, nonetheless. That was cool. I'll take that. <laughs> I like this artwork, too. Wait, is he peeping on someone? Through a hole in the wall? Is there, like, a shower room on the other side of this? Or is this, like, Doctor Who when, like, the cracks form dimensional vortex thing. Ooh! Whistle! I, was, I love this Pokemon. I actually got two shinies legit in uh, Sapphire or Omega Sapphire. I, I was doing the chaining in the game and I got one shiny through chaining and then like four Whimsicots later, or Cotney actually, I found another shiny through chaining like two or three later. All damage counters from one of your. Ooh, I like, I like the sound of that. Um, Windy mischief. I want to be perfect for the fairy deck I want to make. It was reprinted in the next set with the same stats. A different angle. That's interesting. Why would they do that? And another Reggie Rock. Reggie Rock is becoming like that. Uh... Oh. Blossom. I think I have them already, though. Uh, oh, that's a pretty good attack. Oh, go away. I want to hit. There we go. Kind of looks like he's doing the Homer Simpson dough. Dough! Paint roller. Discard any stadium card in play, then draw a card. That could be useful. This dangerous energy. Dark Pokemon. Whenever and is damaged. Um well that's kinda cool, I guess. Looks like a eyeball, it's kinda creepy. Metacross! Once during your turn, before you attack, you may switch your active Pokemon with one of your bench Pokemon. If you do, your opponent switches. Oh, so it's like a, a freebie escape rope. That's cool. It's got a lot of HP. That could be good. Holy retreat cost, Batman. Hey, kill. <laughs> Welcome. Paint roller was printed because Nine Tails was too powerful. Which Nine Tails is that? Uh, let's see how many more. I have eleven to go. Okay, let's, let's take a break from the Ancient Origins and do the base. Drop the base. Hey, Pikachu! I like the art on that Pikachu. Good old Ekans. <laughs> I like the art in this one. Just a little guy having some fun. Roller skates. What's his ability? Uh, oh, that's kind of a cool ability for a uh, basic. Primal Clash Nantils. Uh, ooh! 
Hey, a fairy EX. I like the art of his horns, like, just opening into rainbow glistens. <laughs> this attack does 30 damage to one of your opponent's bench Pokemon. Oh, that's pretty good. Not bad. Doesn't seem like a too overpowered for well kind of a little bit but I like the artwork on it that's cool I'll take that one this one yeah I like uh the first non-legit shiny I got was like through uh, the wonder trade and was probably like a hacked one or something like that was the sand dial like these reverse colors he's actually pretty cool looking I like that one and then like was his final evolution black instead of red or something? I don't remember. I like this ladybug. <laughs> Big derpy face. Discard your heart hand and draw seven <coughs> excuse me, cards. This is full art in this deck. Hey! Does he do lots of poison? Uh, ooh, can't retreat. I don't know if he's that great, but I always like to have poison Pokemon. Oh, that's weird. Is he in a different set? Slug! Also with a derpy face. I want to use his evolution, so it's good to get his basic form. Another sand surfing crocodile. Cassius. What game is he from? Mock Punch. Oh, that's not bad. Got an EX box. Oh, okay. That's weird. Oh, speaking of which. But this is a different one that I wanted to use, though. Oh. That's not bad, though. Quick damage counters on both active Pokemon. Hmm. I don't know if I'd use that one, but I like the other one I had. Oh. I don't even know if I got to him on X and Y. I, for some reason, X and Y, I just had no interest in that game. Ooh, Devils. Malmar. I think I have him already. Just not Reverse Hollow. Ooh. Ooh. Full art! Evil Ball. <laughs> That's quite the name. Evil Ball. Just a ball of pure evil. This attack does 20 more damage times the amount of any. Okay. Why Cyclone? Move energy card. Hmm. That's only 3 energy. Wow. Okay, that's cool. I don't know if I don't think I ever use him because he sounds pretty freaking powerful. Like broken. But whatever. It's cool to get a f full art of him, nonetheless. He looks cool. Yeah, I could uh I, I believe that. <laughs> that's, that sounds freaking annoying to deal with. Hit down step open. Hey, uh, more. Lots of fairies for my fairy deck that I will someday make. And another one of these, it is. Ooh. Let's see, choose either a sleeper poison. That's cool. Just have a poison. Huh. He might.
might be a better replacement than that one Dust Dox card, which is a one energy poison. Cause it's got more HP. Okay, that could be that could be pretty useful. What's the question, Solo? And fur 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 fru. And damage this Pokemon by attacks is reduced by twenty. Why would I do that? Any damage is man. It's actually a pretty good attack for only three energy. Only ninety HP, but with him being a basic, it's not bad. Okay, please let me click on another. Ooh, another sable eye. Draw a card. Rip claw. That's kind of a creepy picture. And I got the reverse hollow version of him. A red card. Ooh. That could be a pesky card to have. Especially if they flop. And some sage. I hate these Pokemon. I don't know why I hate these Pokemon so much. The elemental monkeys. I mean, it's kind of a good card, that Torment one, but I, I don't... For some reason, I just hate those three po Pokemon sets flying. <laughs> I like Splink. I don't like what he evolves into that much. I mean, he's kind of cool looking, but Splink is awesome. Arbok. The thing Pokemon has no abilities. That's not bad. And poison. I don't know if I'd use it, but I kind of like the art. Even though the top of his mouth is like super thin. Upside down evolution. Once during your turn, if this Pokemon is confused, you may search your deck. Hmm. And his attack confuses both of them. That's kind of cool. Like his, he's kind of doing the snooty lips there. <laughs> oh yeah, I keep forgetting this Pokemon exists. It's really weird that. I don't know. I don't. I just don't. Except for like the horn in the face, it just seems like such a weird evolution from Rhydon. He's just completely forgettable to me. He looks like he's wearing a construction safety vest. Flip a coin for each. Attach this. It's pretty good attack, though. Can't. Eh. That one kind of sucks, but for a coin flip, that's pretty good. And he's got 160 HP. That's a tank right there. So what did everybody eat today? But I realize that's a attack effect, but it looks really weird. It just looks like he has one big arm. Hey, and I got the reverse hollow surfboarding crocodile. Yeah. Hey, and I got the non e or full art version. I like the full art version much more. This one just looks like a face and claws coming out of a thunderstorm or something. Maybe I'll trade this one. I wonder how many packs I could get for this. Maybe a couple? I had pretty good meatloaf for supper. A hey, Bunnelby. I actually have a Bunnelby plush coming in the mail. It was only it was like eight dollars or something like that. <laughs> I I used to not like Bunnelby, but he's grown on me. I thought he's kind of weird looking. I don't like his evolution that much, but I'm 
also banned. That's it's kind of an annoying card to deal with sometimes. Yeah. Right to you. Kind of a weird art. Times the number of your benched Pokemon. I don't know if I like that card that much. I mean, that's kind of good, but not the other one is me. Oh, that was my last of that series. Uh, let's go finish off Ancient Origins. Really? It doesn't seem that impressive to me. I mean, I guess if you had a hand where you could easily fill up your bench, but I think there were better cards out there than that still. I mean, a lot of these Vaporeons. Reggie Ice! Flip a coin. Now paralyzed. Another anti EX card, which I appreciate. And. Verizian again, which I'm I'm fine with. Although I got one already, I don't think I'd ever use two. What's this shuffle? Oh, that's right. I got a, that card already. It's not. Hey, hey! Now I can uh, if I ever want to use my Mega. Tyranitar EX, I have his basic form. Which I don't like to use EX, but that card was so cool I kind of want to use it anyways. <laughs> really? Freaking rotations. I always like Tyranitar and Larvesta, or not Larvesta, uh, Larvitar. And that line. Wasn't he like supposed to be in the original 150 or something like that? Or am I thinking of someone else? Hey, and I got uh, the reverse. How does the reverse hollow of this card work? I guess this part is normal, but that part is supposed to be hollow? Whatever. Take it. Yeah. Ooh, wild bone. Ooh. I was looking for anti. Oh, it's not. That's anti items in general. That's not even tools. That's kind of cool. I like that. I might make use of this little guy. Or girl. I'm, I'm happy with that one. Take a vile plume as uh, not a uh, card you enjoy to deal with. Yeah. Ooh, this looks cool. This Pokemon may have up to two tools. B drain. Heal from this Pokemon the same amount of damage you did. That's that's cool. Since this is a stage one, that could work pretty well in my healing deck. Oh, it's not basic, so evil light won't work. Oh, Evil Light doesn't even work anymore because you can just use that Hard Charm or whatever. Where, What series is the Hard Charm found in? Because it kind of renders Evil Light useless. So you can just work on any of them. Hey, another one's got... The non fancy art one. I had spaghetti yesterday. And Vespa Queen. That was a different one. Oh, the Bee Revenge one. Don't Mookie, don't you have like a whole deck based around the Bee Revenge attack? Oh, sweet. Machine Gun Stomp. I like the art on this one. It looks like uh, out of an anime, kind of. 
for each card in your hand during your opponent's next turn any damage is reduced by 20 I don't know if, not bad tanky I like the art I, I like it I'll take it I'm pretty satisfied with the pack so far you know if it's all mediocre from now on I, I'd still say I'm satisfied and another one of these energies reverse hollow flareon nice Hey, sweet! We've got lots of these half arts. During your opponent's next turn, reduced by thirty. Does thirty to itself, but does a hundred thirty. But that's a basic, and it can have that. That's pretty good for just like a basic non ex. You can just put out in the beginning of the match. That's pretty cool. I like that one. I, uh, the art's pretty cool too. I'm happy. I can definitely see putting him in the deck. And that thing again. Not so much happy with that one. But it's okay, you're gonna get some duds. More our best does. Hey, Gudra! You uh, his art's always great. This attack does 20 damage to one of your opponent's Pokemon for each. That's retreat costs. A lot of people don't like to use a high retreat cost, so I don't know if that'll be that like, useful. Special missions. That's 150 HP though, so that's still pretty good. Not bad, I don't think I'd use it, but I like to have it, because it's Gudra. And another Vileplume. Sweet. I, I actually really tempted to make a deck out of this sort of gimmick. So having one one, I'll take that definitely. So repeat, I wouldn't mind getting some more of. Isn't this a card you say is like totally broken? Because it totally seems like it. Does he have a full art? I bet. Watch, I'll get it right here, right now. Or, or Gudra. Or that. Hey, reverse hollow vile plume. I said I wanted some more. They gave me some more. I'll take it. What should we do next? Uh, I only got three of these. I'll do these ones. I have a lot more of these coming in the mail, though. I found, like, uh, this one and Flashfire, I think it was called, on Amazon. 36 codes for, like, $6. Oh, that's the one that's banned. Okay, gotcha. But it definitely seems like a good card, even though it's that one in particular isn't banned. <laughs> he's, it's like he's ice skating. <laughs> I love the art in this one. <laughs> uh, oh, sweet! And he has a half art version. May I attack twice a turn? And if you knock him out, you can attack the next Pokemon? But he doesn't have any attacks, so let's go to the top card of... Wow, that actually seems like a pretty good utility Pokemon. I mean, he could do both of those. He could seriously screw some people up. Nice, I like that card. And also single-handedly destroy. <laughs> I just, I love... I love the fact that this little bunny rabbit can destroy a giant whale EX deck. This little guy, David versus Goliath, he even has the stone. It's perfect, David and Goliath. A whale lord. 
well, yeah, the big, the big, I knew what you meant, the big, giant. I like this art. I don't like the Bidoof guys, but this art's kind of cool. Hey, Lone Wolf, how's it going? Hey, half art. Whenever your opponent plays a trainer card, excluding Pokemon tools and stadium cards. That's pretty good. Ooh, and he's anti-EX. Sweet. Okay, I'll take that. I'll take that all day. I like this. I like the cards where it has like more than one of the Pokemon in the art. I don't know why I like that, but. Hey, Groudon. Coins, Pez. To each of my bench Pokemon. I don't know if I like that that much. I don't think I'd use him. I mean, it's only 10. It's not that bad. Especially if, like, get him in the beginning of the match. And then, like, you don't even have any bench Pokemon to worry about. Of course, there's still like 4 and you to do that. Yeah. Ooh! What is this? I don't even know, know this Pokemon. I barely remember what Clam Pearl is, and this Pokemon, I, I didn't even know existed. Or if I did, I forgot about it instantly. From your hand, this Pokemon. You may attach two energy cards. And he is... It doesn't seem that great, but... The art's cool. Even if I don't really remember what it is. <laughs> oh, wait, am I doing the Roaring Skies one now? Or is this just my last one of this? Hunt Tail? I don't even know if I know what that one is. Each basic Pokemon play. Huh, okay. Well, that actually, since most EX cards are basic Pokemon, that's kind of. That might be good for my anti EX deck. Ooh, and there. We were just talking about him, and I got the full art version. 250 HP. Holy crap. <laughs> He needs five to attack. I like Whale Lord. He's the big giant dude. 250 HP. Holy jeez. Five. Five water. Now you can't even use a double color list there. Dang. That's pretty cool looking though. I don't know if I'd ever use him, especially since I don't like to use EX cards, but it's a cool collection item to have. Alright, I'm, I'm happy with that one. Uh, let's see. These ones are locked, but I'll open the Steam Siege now. So is it one of those card or decks where you just try to make the opponent use all their get them to run out? Just by having so much freaking HP. <laughs> oh sweet! Hey, wait, he's shiny too, isn't he? Isn't that the shiny colors for? So how does double work? Like every attack they make is just both grass and fire. Flip a coin if heads your opponent's active Pokemon is not confused. Oh, that's pretty good. I'll take that. This card all energy cards attached as Pokemon. I guess that's fair. It's 120 for three energy, and all of them are colorless. 
<laughs> That's cool. I mean, you know me and my history with Larvesta, so I'm pretty happy with this card to get him. It's, wouldn't you know it, wouldn't you know it, the card I always get, or back in the day, I always used to get Larvesta, and I get his evolution twice in the same pack. <laughs> it's, it's just, this, this is, Larvesta and his evolution are like my spirit Pokemon. Not my spirit animal, but my spirit Pokemon. It's just, I'm forever linked to this guy. I'll never escape him. I used to fight it. I used to say, frickin' Larvesta, but now I've embraced it. Give me some more. Why not? Actually, I don't really, two is enough of this card. I don't see me ever using more than two. I'm sure I'll get more, though, because that's my history with Larvestas. He's up to some mischief in there. Hey, Hopips. I love Hopips. I don't know why I like him so much, but... Oh! Sweet! Now I got the full art version. Yeah, the first pack I ever opened, I didn't do it on stream. But, uh... After, like, two or three years of not playing this game, the first one I opened, I got the non-full art version of this card, which is pretty cool. It's a damage to... See, I, I like that ability. And it's a bunny rabbit robot made. You know, mean bunny rabbits, that fits too. I could see me actually using the uh, this EX because... I really like its ability. It's it's not like it doesn't seem like it's overpowered, it seems more like it's a defusal. And its attack isn't too overpowered because if you keep using it, it only does sixty. So I might actually use this card. And I have two of them now to use. I like that one. I'm pretty happy. Ooh, what is this thing? <laughs> good old, good old Klefki. Well, well, the ability description on this is a freaking anthology. Once during your turn, if this Pokemon is on your bench, you may discard on this Pokemon attached to one of your Pokemon as a Pokemon tool card. Prevent any damage done to the Pokemon from your opponent's Mega Evolution Pokemon. I haven't really come across too many Mega Evolution Pokemon, so I don't think this would be that effective, but... Of course, I've played, like, the Legacy. I haven't played any, like, up-to-date decks. Maybe they'll use more of that. Oh, I can discard it, though. Eh. Hmm, that's kind of... I actually kind of like that. Force him to use more energy. And guaranteed sleep. I'll take it. That's actually not too bad. <laughs> so I'm pretty happy with those ones. Uh, let's see. What should we do next? Dang, I had a lot more decks to open than I thought. <laughs> and I have a lot more coming in the mail. Let's do Furious Fist. I think this one's completely new to me. I haven't opened any of these, I don't believe. Oh, maybe I do, because I have some of these, unless there are multiple. There's another Pokemon I completely forget exists. I don't like this. I don't like Lickitung that much, but he's great compared to this freaking thing. What did I get here? Hey, Tornadus, Reverse Hollow. You 
may have your opponent. I like that, that you don't have to. There's no legendaries I don't like. I don't like these genie weather legendaries. Hypno, good old 150 original. Your opponent's active Pokemon is not asleep. Huh. That's a really interesting ability. That is very unique. Huh. You make them use the supporter card, but you make the decisions. <laughs> That's very interesting. I don't know how useful it is. I mean, if I gave it some more thought, it might be an interesting way to use it. Yeah, this is a pretty good art. He's just <laughs> tough little little guy. Okay, go away. Let me open it. There we go. What should have I have done? And there's Lickitung. When you attach a basic energy card from your hand to this Pokemon, you may search your deck. Put it onto this Pokemon. Hmm. Okay, that's pretty good. That might be better than the freaking Call of Evolution or whatever that one attack was, because it's even an ability, because you can attack afterwards. This would be great for my Eevee deck. Just sit back like a big shot and like. I do have a candle right here. It's not one of my fav more favorites, but it's nice for uh, on occasions. Idle vice. It smells like flowers. Outside. Hit my chain. I haven't seen him in a long time. Oh snap! An NG card guaranteed in 140, 220? Dang. Yes, it's just called Idolize. Not bad. I'll take that. Another panda. An M card. That'd be good. In a fighting deck. Is she a fighting gym leader? She doesn't seem like a fighting gym. Like I, I don't. I would picture a roller skater. I assume as a fighting type, but whatever works. Hey, here's a different panda. Bad influence <laughs> evolution. If you have any dark Pokemon on your bench, it's your deck. The cards is put into your on this Pokemon. <laughs> Interesting. Well, I think Idlewise is also the name of a flower, which is probably the flowers that are on the And there's the mega, well not mega, just the bigger panda. It's clobbering time. Wow, that's, that's a pretty good attack. And he has 120, that's pretty good for a stage one. Edelweiss, that's what I said. Or Edel? Edelweiss? Hey, at least I got the vice part. That's... That's the part, the tricky part that matters. This art's kind of cool. What is this? The 
track of each fighting Pokemon does... If it's... Wait. Does 20 more damage to the... If it is... A, so, uh, they're saying if the opponent is a Pokemon EX, or yours is a Pokemon EX. I assume they mean the other one. I don't think they do anymore, but like level X Pokemon or whatever they had in that one site. I have a, in real life, a Magmortar level X or whatever that one was called. Protect for a fire energy. Oh, so this is kind of like uh, the Zekrom and Rushy Ram or whatever that one's name. Attacks. Hey, and the panda again. Clefairy. Remember when base one and base two Clefairy used to be a rare? Hollow? I have a couple of those still. I think most of them are base two, though. There's Electric. Oh. <laughs> Interesting tag team combination there. Interesting. And Jinx. Great, they made more of these. At least it's purple. And it's posing next to a Machamp. card doesn't seem very good. Freaking jinx. It's just like the dud. Here's your rare. It's a freaking jinx. Hey, good. Another Eevee. I could use more of these Eevees. And Hypno again. Could be useful for a basic little guy. <coughs> and my champ. Is this the one that was poisoned next to Jinx? It looks like they're in the same stadium. Ooh. <laughs> is this is this a reference to Rusev? Ooh. This actually seems like a pretty good card. I don't do much with fighting Pokemon usually, but he might be a good one to have. Alright, I'll take that one. What about speaking of Electro? Ooh, good, another Eevee. And what does this do? Uh, this card touches heal. Oh, that would actually be very good for my Maractus deck. Oh, I see. Speaking of which, it was a reference to me getting that a while back. Shuffle two cards. Scent. Once during your turn, you may discard. It's now confused and poisoned. That's pretty good for my poison deck. And he can heal himself. I'm more happy to get these two, though, actually. Probably more useful in my decks. He might be good, though. I'll have to consider him. Yeah. 
Hey, Halucha. I like Halucha. Damage from this Pokemon is in effect by radio. Oh, so he's only good against EX. That kind of sucks, but... It's 60 damage for one energy. But if it's not an EX, he's screwed. He's got no retreat, though, so that's good. Hmm. Interesting. Ooh, what are you do? What are you do? Is the language I just used? <laughs> Dang, that's a g Put this on top of that Machamp, the Rusev Machamp. That's a lot of damage. That's a very weird art. Yeah. Go lurk. Wreck it, Ralph. This seems like a normal straight up attacker. Be good with the stadium deck, though. I don't think I'd ever use them. Hey, Noibat. Oh, is Noivern in this? I love the bats. I hope this is a Noivern, then. Ooh, that's good. It that could be a very good stand, because I very rarely use Pokemon that can damage benches. Come on, Noivern. Dang it, go lurk. Boy, there's a lot more left to do. Uh, let's do this one. I did not expect this. Yeah, I thought you were doing that. I thought you've been doing that on purpose for years, Mookie. Ooh, Noibat's in this one too. Does that mean Noivern's in here as well? I hope so. Normally I don't like Spewa, but that card is adorable. Looks like he's got Santa's beard. Bridget? Who's Bridget? Or three basic Pokemon. Huh. She could be useful. Hey, no, this is like the deck of the bats. This has ten Mewtwo. Oh, gosh. This art looks weird. Each of your that has any damage. Eh. Eh. Come on, Noivern. I want Noivern. Oh, I love Teddy Ursa. He's so adorable in this one. Looks like he's chasing this little girl's hat that blew away in the wind. Or he's, he's sadistic and is laughing that this little girl is losing her hat in the wind. Or maybe it's a little boy's hat one of their hats. Or it's his hat and he's just happy to be rid of it. Assault vest? Wow, that's dark. Are these Pokemon going to war? Is this like Lieutenant Surge's Raichu? Ooh, I use special energy quite a lot. This could be useful. Special energy. Never mind. Yeah. Oh snap! And it's golden. Is this super rare? That means it's super rare, isn't it? The golden outline. I'm pretty sure. This is this is rare, isn't it? Full art gold. How much is this one worth? <laughs> I like all the his Pokemon friends. He Mewtwo finally got some friends. I'm I'm happy for Mewtwo. Like Mewtwo gets a bad rap because of his cards being overpowered, which I agree with, but I like Mewtwo the Pokemon himself.
I remember the first secret rare I got. It was that um, uh, Pokemon catcher. And I was, I was so excited because I thought it was rare. And I was like, oh, it's a trainer card. I don't care about this. And Mookie's like, you got a super rare. That thing's super valuable. I'm like, oh, okay, that's awesome. Oh, who are his other three friends? Is it different attacks? He, for Mewtwo EX, he doesn't seem too overpowered, though, which is nice. I mean, he's strong, but he doesn't seem overpowered by any means. I'm, ha I'm super happy with that one. I mean, depending on how many packs he goes for, I might trade consider trading away, but I kind of like the art and stuff. And... I might keep that one actually. Maybe we'll get it this time, you know, the other secret rare, why not? Grand Bull, I like. <laughs> what is he doing in this picture? Is he he's helping sell fruits for this little girl? That startling bark. Tantrum. This Pokemon is now confused. That kind of sucks, but. Oh, and there's Mega Mewtwo's in this one. Hey, Raven. Welcome, welcome. I, I really like the artwork. It's very detailed. I like I like the artworks that paint Pokemon and like doing everyday activities stuff it just adds some character to the Pokemon world in general you know I will keep my me too solo and another bronze on well, I can't really complain because I just got that freaking super rare <laughs> that was pretty awesome hey give it all Oh, this is the one I wanted for my, uh, so I can, uh, for my safeguard deck to counter Garbotoxin or whatever it is. Or not Garbotoxin, um, uh, G-Booster Genesect. Yeah, he, he Lone Wolf has been here earlier. And we greeted him solo. Oh, and he does damage to EX cards. Great. I want more of these cards. I wouldn't mind getting two more. Hey, another grand ball. Oh, look. What is that? Oh, it's a tree. He's just planting a flower. Like... I always like Sand True and Sand Slash. I wish they were better in the game. Oh, snap! Another full art. EX. Glaily. 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 I don't really like this Pokemon that much, but full art is a full art. I'll take it. <laughs> you can do 150 more damage. Holy cow. All he needs is 100 of his 220. Dang. That's pretty cool. I'll hold on to him. I'm loving these full arts. <laughs> I 
What's happening with his meows? Meows, not meows. Dang. Brutal for that poor little meowth. Actually, I don't really like meowth that much, so... Whatever. <laughs> this card is discarded by an attack of the fire Pokemon's card. Ooh! That's really good, because there are a lot of discarding fire energy attacks. That's great! Give me more of these. <laughs> Dang, that is... That is total feels. That's brutal. Poor Cubone. Cubone is like the saddest Pokemon. I don't, like, I don't really get how logically it makes sense that unless it, the mother dies during childbirth or something, but whatever. It, I don't want to... It's dark enough, is it? I don't want to examine it too much. This is a pretty good art, too. I just depressed myself a little bit. Does 20 more damage. Dang. That's pretty good. And holy crap! 70 damage for two energy? And that ability? I'll take it. That's pretty good. I could definitely see using him. <laughs> oh, I like this art. This, this set has a lot of great art in it. These guys are just dancing with Mr. Mime and Starmie. discard pile into your hand. That's a pretty good card. I'll take that. And I got two of these. I'll call it right now. Another full art right here. Or Oh, better yet, Noivern. Yes, I love this guy. Uh, shuffle your hand in your deck, then draw your opponent's hand. Discard an energy card. Well, it's not great, but it's not bad. I'm just glad to have a Noivern. Are there any Noivern EX? There's two cards in the set, and he's eating different fruit. That's interesting. <laughs> is he eating or is he serving? Is he working with that grand bull to help that little girl in her fruit stand? Does she have all of her Pokemon as free laborers? <laughs> oh, there's a break. I don't really like the break. I mean, they might be good, but they just look really weird to me. It's just like all gold and sideways and I haven't gotten a break card yet but ooh Flabebe or however you pronounce his name that's only got 30 HP jeez and one of these freaking monkeys I actually work good in a water deck Colorless. And there's the <laughs> there's the sad cubone again. <laughs> uh, poor cubone. That's why you have to catch all the cubones and adopt them into your family. Two of these cards. And the snowman. Eh. In a biff bit of uh, yeah, yeah. meh pulls, but I, again, I can't really complain after that Mewtwo secret rare. Yeah. Right, you.
to each of your opponents Pokemon EX okay I want to make an anti EX deck this one might have to be in it okay I'll take that one gladly awesome what does this one do oh that's pretty good actually huh and Psybeam seems pretty good too for two energy okay pretty successful there I'll take those uh, let's see, we'll do Fates Collide, then Roaring Skies, and finish up with Breaking Point. Oh, <laughs> that's why you like it. <laughs> oh yeah, here's another Pokemon I forget exists. I, I don't like this Pokemon at all. And this art makes it even look worse than normal. What is this thing? Though might do good in my fairy deck, which I still have to build someday. Hey, Kabutops! You know, in the original 150, I, I, or actually 151, counting Mio, I wanted to get all 151 in card form, but I never was able to get a Kabutops, and I was never able to get a Pidgeot. Those were the only two I was ever missing from my original 151. You like Binnacle? That weird dude? Well, I mean, I guess he's a barnacle and you're a marine biologist, so that I guess I can see. That was pretty good, actually. Actually, pretty good. I wasn't expecting Kabutops to get much love, but that card seems pretty good. So this one wasn't too bad. Yeah. Hey, Mincino. Is he playing? Oh, he's Polis. See, like these must all be the slow girl's Pokemon. She's making the other two serve the fruit, and now she makes her Mincino do the dishes. This is the Nancy of the Pokemon, always doing dishes. At least this one seems super happy to do the dishes. Ew, it's this one again. Hey, Dugong. shadows for me. I thought he was like metallic and shiny, but he's not. Basic energy. Might be useful in some decks. Yeah. Hey, almost star. Is he getting some love too? For a restored Pokemon. What's a restored Pokemon? Oh, does that mean like from a fossil? Oh, that'd be good because you don't like to use fossils that much. Larvitar. For some reason, this makes me think of that cave in Uncharted 4. <laughs> I like this artwork. It's like he just ate super spicy food. Oh, dang, he's got 7 HP. energy for 40. This is better than I figured him to be. Ooh, Audino has a mega form. 
I kind of want that one because Audino was my first ever shiny Pokemon. Ever. Legit first ever shiny Pokemon. Delphox. Ooh. For 140 plus asleep? To all Pokemon in play? Holy crap, that's awesome! That's a great card. I'll take that one. That's like that uh, Gallade, but even better. <laughs> hey, Diglett. Diglett looked like he just came across a r rare mineral in No Man's Sky. <laughs> Aww. He broke it and he's hiding because he doesn't want to get in trouble. There's a lot of great art in these ones. Oh, yeah, coughing. Just looking happy, floating around. Is there like a all coughing deck using that division? Lots of cool artwork for N. Ooh, and another whipsicott. Hey, yes. That could be good. For only one energy, just do some damage and cycle it over to another. Yeah. Mothin! As often as you like during your turn. Huh. I. I really forgot this. I didn't even know this Pokemon existed. I don't even can't even say I forgot it. I don't even know if I knew what this Pokemon was. Like I, like he may as well be a Sun and Moon Pokemon that I've just discovered existed because I this is completely foreign to me. I prefer my end full art. Oh, that one's in here, too. Hey, Wigglytuff. During opponents, it's reduced by 30. Nice. Is this that same little girl? Like, is this Wigglytuff just the lazy one in the group who doesn't do day labor? Another nice. I'll take him on the walls gladly. Mr. Mine. Frickin' Mr. Mime. I... Hey, I like Mincio, though. I love Mincio. And that frickin' thing again. Wait, was that Ro Team Rocket card? I didn't see what that one did. Oh, that's kinda cool. Those little deers. It kinda looks like he's sitting on a pile of poop, but... Hey, wheezing. Bloom bomb. Ooh. He could be useful in my poison deck. Confused and poison, guaranteed. And 80 damage. I might use him. Not poison deck. Ooh, what's this one? My superior deck, I usually just use rare candies, but that could be a good ability to have too. Yeah. Oh snap! Hey, my first ever break card, dude. I gotta twist my head around here. Metal Rain. How much HP's got? 130. This card has many steel iron. Dang it! Move my mouse instead. I drop down the floor. Let's attach this Pokemon as you like for each energy. This way, choose one of your opponent's Pokemon. This is hard to read. And do 30 damage to it. I don't know if I really like that card that much, but. 
Hey, I can at least say I have a break card now. So I can I also get a rare in addition to a break card? Or is that like a reverse hollow? Hey, Aerodactyl. Jet draft. Ooh. <laughs> He's a gargoyle, that's cool. That's a pretty freaking good attack, holy crap. And he has no retreat? I might have to make a fossil deck now. Such as Seal. He's, that looks like a No Man's Sky uh, shelter. I just have No Man's Sky on the brain, apparently. I haven't played it in a couple days. Mega Catcher. Playing with Chikorita. Chikorita was one of my favorites as a kid of Gen 2. Hey, Grumpy, is he. He's dancing. Head walking. That's interesting. Huh. How about a break in EX right here? I want that Audino. Hey, good, I need that. Scorched Earth! Player. Oh, just that thing again. It's even a reverse hollow I've gotten before. And, oh my god. That, that's about as worse of a... Well, I did need this, though, so I guess it's not all for nothing. Oops. Dang it, I wanted that Mega Adino. Alright, we'll do the three Roaring Skies. Maybe I'll get that one super broken card that everybody wants, and I won't be able to trade it because it's locked packs. <laughs> Hey, Jatina. That's kind of cool. I'm going to peek at you. Little fletchlings. His face looks kind of weird there, but it might just be the angle. Absol. Cursed eyes. When you play this card from your hand under your bench, Oh snap, Rayquaza. 30... Eh. I mean, it's cool to have, I guess. I can't trade him. That kind of sucks, because I probably could have traded him almost. Hey, Dustox. Ooh, poison and sleep. Ooh. But grass. Usually my poison deck is more psychic. Hey, execute. <laughs> yeah, I was playing Overwatch the other day and I was kept doing Overwatch or No Man's Sky's control. Controls. Yeah, I can't talk. It's not bad for oh it's not it's not the basic anymore. Oh, from I thought he was carrying like a basket in his, like a wicker basket in his claws. That's pretty good for a colorless Pokemon. 
can see how he could be useful in decks because you can just put any energy on him. I guess he got demoted from steel. He's colorless even though he's literally made of steel. Oh good, this thing. At least it's a, this one actually makes him look somewhat cute. The other artwork not so much. Absol again. Oh snap! Oh, he's not EX either. If your opponent's Pokemon is knocked out, take one more prize card. Holy crap! Look at that energy. All oh, right, flying is colorless. Oh, but you can do that from your hand. That's actually good. That's I kind of want to make a deck with that. I like it's like the one art of Dragon I've ever seen. It doesn't make him look derpy. It actually gives him a little bit of an angry face. That's cool. I'll take that one. Yeah. Double dragon energy? I need to get that. Wait, oh, that was that was it. What what uh, deck is double dragon energy in? That one? Alright, home stretch. Eleven breakpoints. And then it will be done. For now, until all those in the mail will arrive, and then I'll have probably even more. Oh, that's cool artwork. <laughs> Creepy deads. <clears throat> Excuse me, soulless eyes. Delinquent. Oh, dang. Any steam card, and you make them discard three from their hand. Hey, Suicune. As long as it's Pokemon print. Alright, that's pretty good. Three, it's three water, but... Is he walking on water? <laughs> I'll assume that's just very shallow water. Oh, unless he's just, he can run that fast. Which is, actually explain why he could move so fast in those games and be freaking impossible to catch without spending hours and hours. Those guys were so annoying to catch. Why does he have numbers on his body? Is there, uh, do they ever give a reason? Is there a description? No. That's interesting attack. This attack does... Interesting. <laughs> what is this artwork? That's creepy drowsy. That's the diddler. Hey, Lapras. My first legit shiny I hatched through an egg. Is that Misty? Looks like Misty. Must be. Oh, snap. It's the tree break. Trevenant is a... Is he a basic Pokemon or is he a stage one? I can't remember if he has a basic form. Uh, Silent Fear, put three damage counters on each of... Wow. That's pretty good, actually. I take it. <laughs> He's one of your cards you don't like to deal with. But I'll take him. I'll gladly take that. Literally your most hated deck. <laughs> hey, and there's his not-in-break form. 
Oh yeah, okay, he does evolve from Phantom. Well, I'll use a Phantom, and there we go, I can make a deck out of it. Actually, I probably have that from a different set, but... Dang. Could work good against Anti-AX with that ability. Ooh! Actually, I almost think I like this better than the Break. Okay, I kind of make a Trevenant deck. That Growlithe looks kind of pudgy and angry. Discard a card from your hand if this is supported here. If you look at the top. Put one of them in your hand. Oh, so it's like a great wall, but with any card. That's kind of cool. Ooh, scissor. Bursting balloon. Discard it. The end of your opponent's palm. Flip Interesting. Well, it's not as good as that one ace card that I have. Hey, that's pretty cool art. Boo-hoo. <laughs> if your opponent attaches... That Pokemon will be asleep. That's kind of cool. I like the artwork. I like that one. I'll take that one. Hey, there's. <laughs> this one doesn't look as angry as the other pandas we've come across. It's doing like grass angels. And actually, these two could be like side by side in the same picture. It almost looks like these two are just playing together, hanging out. Hey, there's Pokemon Catcher. I have the secret rare of this. Gold duck. Garchomp. That's very intense looking art. That's like the scariest, spookiest, demented Pokemon artwork I think I've seen. That thing looks terrifying. Looks like it's from, like, uh, an anime that I can't think of the name of offhand. Oh, that's pretty cool. Ooh, and he's anti-EX. Nice. That is scary artwork right there. Hey, Chikorita. Wait, why is his reflection... Oh, is that a portal? Is that like a Hoopla thing? Isn't Hoopla the one with the portals? That's... Oh, right, and there's that one artwork where isn't that playing with the Chikorita? So, I guess the storyline is that Chikorita goes through a tunnel and finds Finnegan and their friends? Or something? What happened to this Clefairy? <laughs> it's Hypnode. That's interesting. These artworks that tell a story. I don't like this Pokemon. He's weird. Or she's weird, whichever. It's like a can can dancer. Hey, it does damage to EX though. Or bonus damage. <laughs> Psyduck with Stampede. I would love to see a Stampede of Psyduck. Yeah. And Clefable. There we go. Dragon Pokemon, though. Eh. Artwork's cool. 
kind of looks like uh, Yuna when she did that death dance thing in Final Fantasy X. Oh, that's nice artwork. They, they must also be playing with those Pokemon in the grass. Hey, Flop, it would make a great soccer player. Hey, Water. Welcome. Uh, I know some of the Pokemon evolutions. A lot of the middle generations I'm not too familiar with. There's a trade one again. That's good if I want to make a deck based on that. Get more of those. I'll take that. <clears throat> hey, good. I need this for that too. That, that's very good attack for that. <laughs> Here's another Pokemon I don't care for that much. Job with the cat. It's puzzle of time. If you played, if you played one card, huh? Interesting. Oh, then I do not know of them. Oh, snap! Greninja break. What do you do? All he has is an ability. Oh, they retain the attack. That's what breaks do. Okay. Oh, so that would... Now I can see why Trevenant would be so annoying. Because that one Trevenant alone is great. And then you add the break ability? Holy crap. I wonder why it breaks are... Once during your turn, if this Pokemon is your active Pokemon, you may discard waters and... And if you do put six, holy crap! That water shirt sure, penguin ninja was annoying enough. Then they break it. <laughs> I hate that water shuriken sure, ability. I faced it, faced it a couple of times. And another trevenant. <laughs> well, I think this game is definitely telling me to make a trevenant deck now. That's my third Trevenant, plus that Phantom, plus the Trevenant break. If I do, I'll make my own. I won't try, I'll try not to copy that super OP looking one. And there's the creepy Hypno that, oh my god, this scene has to be a reference to 22 Jump Street. This is almost an exact replica of the tripping scene from 22 Jump Street where the one side is like a nightmare hellscape and the other side is like a happy little paradise with rainbows and hills and valleys and stuff. Oh, I am not the person to ask what cards are worth. Mookie might know, but I'm discovering most of these cards myself. So I have no idea. But welcome, Zongi. Once during your turn, nearly both. Oh, that's interesting. That is an intense looking shift -ry. That's kind of cool. How many do I have left? Just two more packs and then I'm done until the, I get those in the mail and then I'll have like, like 60. Actually, wait, no, there's going to be a lot more than that. Actually, it might be close to 100. Oh, that poor sad trubbish. 
poor little guy. Oh, snap. Hey, Eradicate has a break? That's cool. I didn't know that. Put damage counters on your opponent's active Pokemon until its remaining HP is 10. Interesting. Oh, that's... Those are the Pokemon cards that I have in real life is mostly like the base one, base two, fossil. And there is Greninja. Fossil, jungle, rocket, the gym leaders. That's pretty much what I got in real life. Ooh, nice. Dang. Greninja is OP, man. Frickin' ninjas, it's just like Genji and Overwatch. They're overpowered. Alright, last pack of the night. Poor Arcanine. He's always getting the uncommon treatment. Even though he's originally supposed to be a legendary. Yeah. Mouse stick. That's not bad, I guess. I don't know if I'd ever use that, but and the last mm -hmm. rare is a seismitoad. Actually that's Actually that's pretty good. <laughs> Take that back. Power himself up fairly easily. But that's it for now. I'll have lots more packs to open. Uh, I should have them by the end of the week. If not, probably Monday. But uh, I think I'll call it. I was going to plan on playing a few rounds on stream, but this opening took a lot longer than I thought it was going to be. And I am hungry and sore. But I'm definitely happy with the cards I got. I got that super. Let's uh, Pokemon. Me too. Look at this. Look at this son of a gun. Secret rare. Full art. Got some other cool EX cards. I'm pretty happy with tonight's bulls. Even without this one, I. Probably still be pretty happy, but with this one included, you know, awesome. But uh, thanks for joining me, guys. I will see you guys next time. Have a good rest of your nights or days, depending on wherever you live.